Taiwanese soldiers practicing defending their islands against invaders. These are only drills, but they are preparing for a reason. As a result of the war in Ukraine, Taiwan has raised its own alert level. The tiny Dongyan Islands are Taiwanese territory, and they sit just off the Chinese mainland. China views Taiwan as a renegade province, that it has a sacred duty to reunify, as they call it. In Asia, as in Europe, a young democracy sits next door to an authoritarian giant. And Taiwan, too, is prepared to fight, hand to hand if it comes to that. This is Xiamen in China, just four miles over the water from the Kinmen Islands, which belong to Taiwan as well. The view makes it a prized spot for selfies. And for the Taiwanese looking back across the channel, there is this giant sign. It proclaims one country, two systems, unified China, the Communist Party's model for how it would integrate democratic Taiwan. But on a weekend before the drills, the mood is pretty oblivious in this potential global flashpoint. And people's opinions on Taiwan capture the ambiguity of China's position. There are hopes for peace and threats of war. But just like between Russia and Ukraine, the issue is complicated by the number of Taiwanese people with connections to China, and vice versa. So how do you eat? Joey Huang is Taiwanese. She moved to Xiamen just over a year ago. Obviously now we're all looking at what's happening in Ukraine and the horrible pictures. Do you worry that a similar thing could happen here and in Taiwan if there's conflict between China and Taiwan? Mm, first of all, I don't think the uh, condition is the same. Uh, second, I, I am very, very worried about uh, Taiwan, uh, uh, the relationship of Taiwan and mainland. But there is no denying the overt pressure China is putting on Taiwan. It regularly flies planes into the island's air defense identification zone. And it has never renounced the use of force if peaceful methods fail. For the foreign policy establishment that studies this issue, Ukraine has already changed the calculation, not for China, but for Taiwan. War between China and Taiwan is certainly not imminent, nor is it inevitable. But we have learned over these last weeks how quickly bustling cities can be turned into wastelands, how quickly residents can become refugees. Those lessons apply here, too. Tom Cheshire, Sky News, Xiamen.